Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Tuesday 24th of July. I'm recording this video 5.40 in the afternoon New York time on the 24th New York time. Here's our daily chart which expects we had a big trend change up here. We've got a 5 down, a double zigzag up, probably complete. We still don't have full confirmation of this trend change though. This is not a channel breach, it's just an overshoot. In order to have confirmation of the end of two black up here, we need to see a full daily candlestick below this channel and preferably not touching the lower trend line. At that stage, I'll move the invalidation point down here and I'll calculate a target for you for wave three black down. I won't do that today because it's still premature. Taking you now to the hourly chart with the low for B pink and the high for C pink up here. It's this low down here and this high up here. So far to the downside we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a reasonably clear 5 wave structure down. It would be possible to see it as a 3 if we saw this as an A, B, C. And that's another reason I really want to wait for that trend channel confirmation on the daily chart before I have confidence in calling a trend change up here. At this stage though there's a nice Fibonacci ratio between 1 and 3 orange. There isn't one for 5 but the fifth wave ended pretty close to the target and it's ended midway in this channel and so this all has a reasonably typical look so far. If this is a 5 down complete here then at the end of Tuesday's session we saw the start of an upwards second wave correction. Second waves are usually deeper rather than shallower, so we can use these Fibonacci ratios in the 50% mark as indicators of where upwards movement may end, use them as targets, and favour the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio so I'd expect price to be reasonably likely to reach up to about 1360.85. It's very early in wave 2 green though to know what structure is unfolding and how deep it's going to be. After another session we may have a clearer idea. It's most likely to be a zigzag and if it is it would be fairly likely to be deep. It could also be a more shallow flat correction or a double or a combination. I've drawn a trend channel around wave 1 green downwards using Elliott's second technique from 2 to 4 and a copy on 3. It shows us where 5 ended and when this channel is breached with upwards movement, when we see movement above here on the hourly chart, we can have more confidence in this wave count, at least in the short term, and that we have a 5 down or a movement down complete and then an upwards correction would then be underway. Wave 2 green may not move beyond the start of 1. This wave count is invalidated with movement above 1380.39. Depending on what structure unfolds for the second wave, it could last between another 1 to maybe even 3 or 4 sessions. If it's a zigzag, it could be over quite quickly if it turns out to be a flat or a double or a combination, it may take a few sessions. When it's over, we'll be expecting increasing downwards momentum as a third wave downwards develops. So price behaved pretty much as expected for Tuesday's session, falling just 1.24 points short of the target before starting to move upwards. That upwards movement we saw at the end of Tuesday's session may very well be the start of a second wave correction, so we should expect overall choppy, overlapping, generally trending upwards movement for about one to four sessions. That's all for me today with your S&P analysis, and I hope the members are all having a fabulous day.